Hi guys, Kerry from Luxembourg here. Here to show you my um, first uh, design team project for Mrs. Cox Crafts. And um, it's turned out to be quite a chunky little monkey. <laughs> um, I used several kits and um, I just love the way it turned out. So I'll show you what I did. Let's get going. Um, first of all, the closure is sorry silk with um, this um, green it's kind of like a knitting fabric I also sent some to Gail you might have seen it if you were saw Gail's uh, package and I thought I'd just sew it on there just for some layer layering effect and these beads at the end are vintage from the 1960s. Sorry about my hands guys. Um, I've got pretty rough looking hands at the moment so just look at the book and not my hands okay. So yeah this is the closure. This is um, um, this size is something that was inspired to me by um, Wendy. Wendy did this size as well. It's I think like it's a six I don't know, an inch or something, six by four or something like that. I can put the details below for you exactly. But um, it's just a lovely, you can see it's just like a nice handful. But the trouble is it just ended up being a bit chunky, as usual. <laughs> now the cover, I layered up some, uh, there's some lace and then there's some canvas, not nearly canvas-like um, cotton. I just... Um, did the uh, lateral kind of thing. <laughs> did some music paper and then here and then just a little another piece of uh, flower ephemera there that I just tore up. Some more lace, beautiful image from one of Mrs. Cog's kits. Now I'll put all of the names of the kits um, down below so you can find them. I think I, in this book I used four. Uh, yeah, I used four kits and um, I'll put all the names down below for you. Then uh, here's the back of the book and the spine. Now it's, um, I've done Nick the Booksmith's kind of method um, with a hidden spine. And what I do love about her, she's very flexible. Look at that. Doesn't, doesn't that look like a lovely waterfall? <laughs> like that effect there. So let's get into her, have a look. So in the front we've got um, a double pocket. I haven't put too much ephemera in her because simply she was exploding in the first place. So um, I didn't want to fill her up too much. But uh, let me show you what I've got. I've got um, one of the lovely Mrs. Cogcraft's uh, bookmarks from her kits. I love this image. And I just backed it up onto music paper and then just um, normal paper is just clear on the back for journaling purposes or to use as a bookmark. Here's some vintage ephemera that I have in my collection that I just aged. And uh, from Lindsay Zayner. But I thought it, it just fit in nicely with this book. And we, I took one of... Um, Mrs. Cook's Crafts, one of the bookmarks from the kit, and I just folded it and just made a tiny little booklet out of it so that either way you look at it, it's cute. So I just stuck that in there, and then there's a little oh, a bit of room here. I might put some, I just received my um, kit, uh, my box of tickets and. Um, ephemera and I might put some tickets in there and I will also be putting um, some of Tracy Fox's I mean the little tea oh tea cards there you go now um, here this is backed with um, Tim Holtz paper this is also Tim Holtz all of this and then I put a Tim Holtz belly band here just in case you wanted to put something there I've got loads of stickers in my collection I thought it's about time you use them so I decided to put some in this book as well. Now the background paper is Nick the Booksmith's um, and there's a little 
cute charm here with the lace. You'll see Nick's paper here as well. All three of uh, the five signatures and three of the signatures have Nick the Booksmith's um, eco dyed paper on them. There's a little, just a double sided um, bookmark that I made with Mrs. Cog's image from the kit. There's some Edith Holden with some music paper, some text, some muslin backed up, and then we get to this kit, <laughs> the moves. So this book is basically uh, mountain flowers, and then the book bookmark kit, I can't remember the name, but I will put it below, and the uh, um, Alaska kit, and then also animals uh, and Antarctic and Ar Arctic and Antarctic animals, I think it's called. So here I just did some layering. Let's see here. Let me show you. Here's uh, some, some just the uh, leaves there. And then of course I had to put Alaska in there. There's Alaska. <laughs> so I, this is one of the words I printed out myself. And I thought this was cute as well. This is um, a vintage vintage book page and um, there are that's a picture of from what I believe is Niagara Falls <laughs> but um, it's this book is from 1936 here I just did some coffee dyed with some uh, edge, edge punching and here's just some embellishing on some music paper and then uh, here we have the Sitka spruce. That's the uh, national tree of Alaska. And here we've got Pocket as well in this one. This is from her Mountain Flowers. Uh, I believe it's Mountain Flowers kit. But um, I will tell you, I will, like I said, I'll put all the names of the kits down below. And you can have a look because I'm not... It's early morning and I don't want to wake everybody up <laughs> by going upstairs onto the computer and having a, I was supposed, I had a list made out and um, well, yeah, you know how those things go. Unprepared as usual, Kerry. <laughs> so here we've got some washi tape going on here. And this, um, this sheet paper, this sheet music is from in around the 1920s. And then I just made a couple of uh, book tags or book, you know, bookmarks with uh, the beautiful images in our kit. I just love these. This one as well. Love them. So then you can use those wherever you need them. I was gonna like put little charms and everything, but then I thought no. I like it the way it is. This page, that's the back end, that's the other side of the vintage page. And then you've got this beautiful image of this eagle with a fish. I just love that image. And I didn't want to put it into a, turn it into a pocket or anything like that. I just thought, no, he just looks very proud of himself like that. He needs to be on his own. This one is um, just from a vintage book page that I cut out and then uh, this little card is from Tracy Fox's um, one of Tracy Fox's kits and then you've got a tuck spot here and then here I just did a little flip down with music, sheet music with a bit of collage on there and a bit of ephemera just age that up a little bit And then here we have a little collage here. This is kind of the Jessica Rapp kind of thing. Kind of little cluster that I just stuck here. I made that a while ago. And it, once again, here is uh, Nick the Booksmith's paper here. Oh, look at this guy, isn't he beautiful? This is from the Arctic and Antarctic animals, I think. 
creatures. But here we have um, it here. Now I didn't fill all the pockets because it, you know otherwise she would have just exploded. So we've got a pocket at the back here where I've put our guest check, but there's another pocket here in the front, and then there's journaling space on there. And then over here, we've got this flip out, and we see the penguins. Every time, every time I see penguins, I tend to say penguins because of um, Benedict Cumberbatch. I don't know if any of you watch uh, Graham Norton, but he was on his show once and he was talking about a documentary he did for the BBC and um, he couldn't get the word penguin out. And if you if you get a chance, Google it, because it's quite funny. He says pen wings the whole time. So here's a pocket at the back. And journaling space here. And there's also a tuck spot that I reinforced with a bit more Tim Holtz paper here. Um, here's a little collage with uh, some vintage lace on the background, muslin, text, book page, and a bit of a guest check, and another uh, bit of um, vintage lace here. And it flips down, and it's from a, Bi a Byron book, uh, vintage book page based on Byron. And then you can journal on the back. There's some crinkly stuff, of course. And we got some William Morris um, paper here. Just some journaling space and another one of the stickers that I thought would fit in nicely. And then we got this lovely guy here. He serves as a tuck spot on this vintage book page. And then these guys here serve also as a tuck spot. And I just put one of these cards in. I think this one I got from Lisa's Craft Shop. And let's go on. Then I've got another one of the bookmarks. Some more pages here. I might actually fix this. I'm going to fix this with some washi tape. I'll just, uh, I just noticed that right before I did the video. But I'll stick on some washi tape there so that doesn't rip. And then here we have this lovely envelope. Also, this is uh, with Tracy Fox's uh, tear sheets. And you open up, you've got the lovely moose and these birds, and they serve as a tuck spot. And they're kind of clipped just right on here. Yeah. Oh, come on. There we go. And there's a tuck spot behind the birds, obviously, as well. Some journaling space there. And then we got this oh, phenomenal beast. Look at him. Oh, with his tusks. And right behind there, we've got two of Mrs. Cog's images as well. These are from the Arctic Antarctic creatures set. But I used the Alaska set and mountain flower set. But like I said, I'll link everything below. Another lovely I think this image is so funny because it looks like this guy's like the boss and they're all like, oh I'm getting out of here. <laughs> so and here I've got two pieces of ephemera from Tracy Fox's kits. There's a lovely piece of the Ferma Tracy, they're wonderful. And then, so that's the William Morris page again. Creepy page. And I just put this uh, word here because that's um, the Willow Ptarmigan. I think it's how you pronounce it, is the National Bird of Alaska. Here's a little tuck spot, just a very discreet one. It's like fabric layered up with uh, some more fabric, sheet music, and botanical page. And then another one of Nick the Booksmith's uh, um, eco-dyed pages with some lace, vintage lace. I don't, no, actually this lace is not vintage. 
This is the new one, and I just put a little acorn on there. One of Mrs. Cog's beautiful images here again, and this fabulous guy here. And um, here's like two tuck spots, but I didn't fill them because, like I said, this is um, quite a chunky monkey already. Here's one of Tracy Fox's uh, tea cards, just to, you know, just to reinforce just the beginning of the pocket there. Another one of Tracy Fox's uh, faux, faux camera. And Mrs. Cog's images there. Another vintage page. This book is from 1930, I think it's 1936 if I remember right. Look at these fabulous guys. Just waiting, waiting for waiting for the run. So in here we've got another image and then some photo from from Tracy Fox. And then just a little uh, journaling card here. Put those in there. There's a big old fat belly band here. And a book page from one of my favourite books. And then here we have this big old fat bird. This card is also from Lindsay Zayner's, um, one of her kids that she sent to me once. Nevermore Creations. And here we have another card from Lisa's Craft Shop. And this very proud little rabbit, this one. These are also from Mrs. Cobb's Images. I don't know what that is. Big fluff. <laughs> uh, vintage dictionary page or encyclopedia page, more so. And then it's just, um, I've just added here on there a card. And then I've got these two beasts on coffee dyed paper. Look at those guys. They're lovely, but I don't think I'd want to meet one in real life. Another little card in there. Bit of a camera in there, in the back. And at the end of the signature, then we have a little booklet. So I just took two of the um, bookmarks and made a tall, very tall and slim, <laughs> kind of like I would like to be. <laughs> tall and slim. A little booklet <laughs> and uh, just thought I'd clip that on there. Okay, I love these bookmarks, they're fabulous, they can be used in so many projects. Thank you, Liz, they're beautiful. And then this very proud guy down here, I think this is another one of um, Lindsay's print, um, ephemeras. Look at that image. And then here we've got a couple of pockets. Journal space. And then these three beautiful guys. Look at that. Well, girls, maybe. Hey. Yeah. Beautiful girls. <laughs> no. There are all these images come from, not all of them. They're not all from the Alaska, because I have the impression that is from the Arctic and Antarctic pages and then this one is just a tuck spot and I just backed it up with one of the bookmarks here we've got another tuck spot with a bit of collage here um, there's some vintage book paper and then just some fabric here this is what I used on the tie as well open it up the great land that is what they call Alaska and this is from mountain flowers from Mrs. Cog's Crafts. And we got this one with the red deer. I love these images. We've got this big feisty guy here. And I just put a little book tag in there as well. Love these colours in here. Love these bookmarks. I mean, even uh, the bookmarks alone are um, just a joy to work with. And then here we've got some Tracy Fox ephemera. Um, this was like a double. I just folded it together, but normally it's flat out. 
I just doubled it together and uh, stuck it there with Mrs. Cog's image on the back and again here. And something sticking here. Oh, it's okay. yeah. And then here we have the Northern Lights. Something I would love to go to Alaska to see. So we've got a nice quote there and Northern Lights there. Turning space. And then again a little charm here. This one has a dragonfly on it. Beautiful birds here. Another sticker from my collection. And here another tea card, which I just basically I just backed it up with another tea card. So there's two tea cards there. A little bookmark. And a tuck spot behind here. And then there's some Nicely coffee stained paper there. And then here's a little collage with a dragonfly clip. This can be taken off and put somewhere else if you, you know, whoever decides. Complete paper. And then we get to the birds. And then we get to the Arctic. So we got this beautiful image. And then we got this handsome guy here and just a little notepad in there. This is um, kind of like watercolour paper. So I tried not to fill too much of it up in case one, somebody wanted to sketch or paint something but I just had to add, I had this image and I, I wanted to put it in somewhere so I ended up putting it in here. I wanted to leave this free but um, I couldn't resist, I had to put it in there. And then up here we've got a little cluster, a North Polar Star and a little bee. And then this side is just free. And then here's a little tuck spot behind one of the beautiful bookmarks on the vintage page. And then these magnificent <laughs> animals here. So there's a tuck spot. And then here we just have a little booklet. It just, it just rests there on that page and these ones fold out I can either fold them in as such or leave them spread out and then down here we just have a little bell and open it up and you've got journaling space there as well and then we come to the end I just put a little uh, piece of ephemera and these guys in here and this is Tim Holtz Tim Holtz and these two are from Lindsay Zayner, and I've got my little thing there. So, that's it. That's my design team project for Mrs. Cog. Liz, I hope you like it. <laughs> um, I hope all of you like it. I would love to hear your comments down below in the comment box. Um, one thing I did note is that I need to, I would like to find um, thicker um, cardstock or cardboard as we call it here but it's it's difficult I've been looking the only thing I found was from um, an antique calendar well not, not even a calendar it's a, a vintage um, uh, watercolor page book that my grandfather gave me and it's about the right thickness but I'm going to take it around the stores and see if they can get me something similar because uh, it's really difficult to get a hold of something like that. Otherwise, I'd have to use wood, which wouldn't be ideal. Um, you know, because then you have something different on the spine than here. Because that's one thing I did notice that this is thinner than what I would like. But at the same time, it, it gives her this lovely... Can you hear that? That squishiness. So I think she's beautiful. I think she's turned out really nicely. Um, there's like all these charms. I think there's there's not as many pages as I thought. It's because she's so chunky. I think there's um, I think there's about 112 pages if I'm not right. But I know there's an excess of 110, but um, it's not. It's she doesn't have a huge amount of papers in her, but she's quite chunky. And um, there we go. But this, she will be for sale. I'll put it up for sale on the Junk Journal 
Junkies Boutique. Um, there will also be um, an envelope of ephemera and stuff for you to put in the pockets if you want to or to use how you want because I know not all the pockets are filled and you might not want to use you know the items I give you but you can always um, you know use them for other projects or send them further to other friends as happy mail or something so this is um, yep this is it this is my design team project for Mrs. Cog Thank you, Liz, for giving me this wonderful opportunity. You know, I love your kids. I'm one of your biggest fans. You know that. Um, I hope I've done you justice in this one. Thanks very much. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.